Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be covering some more small items that will sell. And we have been talking about this. If you're new to the channel, this is what this series is about. It is about the power of selling smalls, how much profit can be made in smalls, and how that can give your business a boost that it needs. But I urge you to challenge yourself, even when you're making these smalls, to push yourself onto larger builds that still have high profit margins. There are a ton of them out there. So don't get stuck just in this realm of smalls because this is the stepping stone to building up. Pushing yourself will grow your carpentry skills and also grow your business. I have been receiving tons and tons of positive feedback about this series. People that have went, set up at different places, sold these items, sold these smalls and made a ton of money. People that have brought truckloads of these things to sales and would sell out in hours. Our community is growing like crazy and thank you guys for that. We broke the 200 thousand mark on subs so make sure to head over to my insta account i'm doing a huge giveaway to celebrate that and celebrate you guys so make sure to check out the link in the description for that our brag board is going crazy and i love it send me your builds your own twists and spins that you're putting on things at the end of this video i'm actually going to show you some of the brags that have been sent to me so you can check them out now everything that i'm about to show you is out there it's on the market so it's going to be up to you to put your twist to it to make it your own i'm going to walk you through how they made it and actually give you a couple of demonstrations along the way. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow for more because I have tons of this stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So our first one is going to be about a fall item. Like I've said before, you need to get a jump on the seasons. Do what the big box stores do. Whenever you see fall items start to come out, you start making fall items. We've covered pumpkins in the past while talking about following the holidays because people will spend money on holidays. People will spend money on holidays, their kids, their grandkids, and their pets. That is a given. So I thought that this was pretty cool. What sells this is the distressing, okay? It can be cut out with a jigsaw. It looks like that it's made out of pine or fur of some type, and it could even be fence picket material. You should have extra fence picket scraps laying around if you've done any of our previous builds, okay? so this can be made out of scraps. Once you get your basic template made, keep it from making multiples. The little tin stars can be bought at Hobby Lobby or Amazon for probably next to nothing. And what's holding the little bird on is just a hole drilled into the side of the pumpkin and into the bird with a stiff piece of wire. So our first demonstration I'm gonna show you is how to get this distressed look, how easy that it is, I'm gonna do it on white. And I'm gonna use a scrap piece of fence picket, okay? Again, I have a ton of it laying around now. What I've done on the back here, spray paint black real thin layer underneath and white spray paint on top that is it now i'm going to sand with this is just 120 grit sandpaper okay again this is with the black behind it but basically all that you're doing is you're knocking the paint off of the high spots and showing what is underneath super easy to distress and that is exactly what they did in this and you can do the same thing with any color out there you do not have to put black underneath you don't have to put anything underneath if you did not then the raw wood would show kind of like what they've done here or if you would like the raw wood to have more of a ambered look or an aged look then i would put a stain on it let that dry then paint that then distress it and it would give it that ambered aged look underneath this is just one of a hundred different ways to distress wood but for this example make sure to do different colors do fall colors because because if someone wants to buy one, I can almost guarantee you they will buy a set or they will buy two or three or five. And they're selling for $70 for a set of three. This is a perfect example of a money maker. And our next item is gonna be from one of my favorite places on earth, the Pottery Barn. And I have nothing against the Pottery Barn. I know I make fun of them a lot, but they have it figured out. Their prices are astronomical because they offer items that people cannot find anywhere else. It can be something as simple as a stick yeah it's the only place on earth that you can buy a stick for $60 and I actually look down like in the reviews and there are a ton of people that have bought sticks so I'm gonna show you several different items from Pottery Barn that you can put your own twist to this first one blew my mind because they're selling this thing for $899 for 900 bucks this funky shaped mirror can be yours or I can tell you how to make it for about 20 bucks if even that Okay, so this mirror, that's all that they have done, is taken scrap wood. And if you zoom in on this, you can actually see where this wood is glued together. So you can take your scrap wood, let's just say that you have, you know, 
four inch pieces. Just glue them, try to keep it the same kind of wood, glue them together. Once all that's good and dry, then you can trace out this outline, take a jigsaw, get that outline to it, get that depth. For 10 bucks, you can get one of those full-size mirrors at Walmart and the little clips that go on to the back. You may have to pick up a little glass cutter online. They're like 10 bucks, but essentially you could make this for less than $20 and they're getting 900 because it's different. You make this, you take this to a sale, you post this online, you can sell these things like crazy, and it's made out of scrap. And one more from the PB, we have a modern rustic serving tray. I'm about to show you how hard it is to make a modern rustic look, how to make a serving tray. So they've taken a new piece of wood, this is not old, and they've put a couple of handles on those. I've looked it up and for $20 you can get six of these handles off of Amazon. They want $70 for this board with handles, but it is how you pitch it, it is how you market it. This is modern rustic. You know, this is not a board with handles, that's what we see. This is a modern rustic serving tray. And people are buying these things. A store like that with their data, their analytics, everything that they run, they know and they will not waste space on anything that will not sell and that has not proven itself to sell. They are selling these planks of wood for $70. So let me show you just how hard it is to make a modern rustic serving tray. All right, so that's all that I have done is put a flap disc and this one is actually an old one that needs to be cleaned. I put it on an angle grinder. You do not have to use an angle grinder you can actually use heavy grit sandpaper but on a regular sander and it's as simple as that this is one that I made a little earlier just put a stain on it there's your modern rustic serving tray you can make this out of any type of wood, but it is all in the contours of these edges that gives it that look. And that's how you make a $70 modern rustic serving tray. And the next awesome buy that you can get at the Pottery Barn is cutting boards. I actually have an old video on how to make different types of cutting boards, but these are $329 a piece. Don't expect anything like that out of these. But look how easy it is to make. This is made with a jigsaw, that's some wide plank pine, probably some shelving boards or things like that. It actually says knotty pine in the description. We're taking some type of a dark paint, putting it just around the edges, blending it in with sandpaper, and then maybe putting a light stain over the top of the whole thing to get that amber look. The distressing, you can take it as far as you want. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's actually little cut marks. In the video, I'll show you how to replicate those cut marks. I actually just use a hatchet and a machete, but you can make something just like this, cutting it out with a jigsaw. Don't even worry about templates or anything like that. And you can sell these things. Everyone loves primitive. And if you put any type of finish on it, make sure that you're selling it as a decoration. These are actually sold as primitive decorative cutting boards. And I actually threw a larger item in here because of the huge potential for profit with this one. I would not consider this a small. This is more of a medium to a large item, but it is super simple to build. Sliding barn doors are in and everyone is looking for people to make them. This is a perfect example of an easy one that you can make out of simple material. They are selling these for $800 a set and everything in this picture is three quarters of an inch thick. It looks like that they have used one by fours on the sides, one by sixes for the middle. The top boards look like that they are one by eights as well as the center and the diagonal boards. Where it says 1.5 inches on the side, that is them taking into account where they've stacked that eight inch cross board on top of the four inch side boards. So they're both three quarters, so an inch and a half. But every part for this door is three quarters of an inch thick. Super easy to make and you could pump these things out. So we'll give the old PB, that's what I'm gonna call it from now on, it's just easier to say instead of Pottery Barn. We're gonna give the PB a rest and this one is actually from Kohl's. This is a serving tray and I'm gonna cover a couple of different serving trays. We've covered them in the past. I've talked about how everyone loves serving trays and you need to create them for different styles. Not just your style because like I've said in the past, what you build is not about what you like, it is about what the customer likes. So you need to kind of have a variety for each type. So not just the rustic serving trays. This is more of a modern serving tray. And like I said, everyone loves them. They like to set them in the center of their table. They'll put salt and pepper shakers in them. They'll do whatever. But 
serving trays sell like crazy. This build could easily be a fence picket or a pallet wood build. The material isn't but about a half of an inch to maybe five eighths inch thick, maybe three to four inch wide slats, and then the rest is just this design. We actually went over how to make a similar style a few videos back in the herringbone planter. This is more of the chevron style with the same type of concept and people love it. And the cool thing is, is you can stain this up, paint this up in any different types of colors that you want. Remember, have a style to offer to everyone. And here is another build from the PB. For $130, you can get this plant stand. This is all put together with butt joints. Very, very simple to build. They put a bit of an angle there on the end, maybe 15, 20 degrees just to get it to lean against a wall. Could easily be built out of fence pickets or pallet wood. Don't expect 130 bucks. Throw 50 or 60 bucks on there you'll sell them. And the thing is that when people are looking to decorate, they actually go to the Pottery Barns website, things like that. They'll see something that they love and they see the price, like this $130. And they'll be like, I'm not paying $130 for that, but it's really cool. I'd love to have one. That's where you come in. You offer the same style for half the price. Your price looks phenomenal compared to theirs. You make a sale. And this next one is a farmhouse garden tray. So you see how they are marketing this. So they're using this farmhouse, this rustic garden. Okay, so back in the old days, they would take these garden trays out to the garden, you know, carry them out, pick all the vegetables and bring them back in. You know, if it were me, I would actually throw some vegetables in one or two of them just to kind of show that and push that name. But this farmhouse garden tray is $135. Let me show you how easy those are to make. That look familiar? My son made this tray yesterday just while I was working around the shop. I showed him a picture of it. We had some old material laying around and the metal that's in this material is nothing but one inch flat stock. You can pick it up at any big box store, but they're gonna charge you, I don't know, three or $4 a foot for it. If you have any type of place around where you live that actually sells steel, they will have this and it'll be around a dollar a foot. So this box took one two by four and two feet of this flat stock. So about two bucks in flat stock. The two by four was some old wood that I Head laying around again you could easily make this out of pallet wood do not try to sell these for $135 yes you may sell a few but as easy as it is to make these and the money that you have in this why try to sell something for $135 when you sell it for 50 or 60 bucks and sell a ton of them whenever people buy these they're going to buy more than one most likely and to ensure that you can say something like these are $60 a piece or for $100 you can get a set of two and for scrap wood and two dollars worth of material I'd take that all day long. I'm gonna throw this in there. This is another item from the PB, but I think this is plastic. You could take one of the planter boxes that we have made, like the farmhouse planter box, make two of them, put some slats across the middle, and then you have a planter bench. This is just an idea. These are some for $450 a piece, and you could probably make one of these for less than $30. Okay, so this one was very interesting. And the reason why is because it's different. Okay, so we've talked about crates. Crates sell like crazy. Everyone loves crates to so stack them up just like this, set them around, just decoration. But these are offset. You notice that they're not all joined on the ends like most crates. They've taken pallet wood, offset the wood, glued it into panels, cut that down and made their boxes. They offer probably 20 or 30 different sizes, so something for everyone there. But the small box is $116. The large box is $400. And this particular page has over 9,000 sales so far. You do the math on that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And while I'm talking, I'm going to roast some of our brags from the brag board. These guys are killing it. They're knocking it out. They're taking this advice and they're making a ton of money. Again, our channel is growing. And when I say our channel, I mean ours. It's you and me. And like mentioned earlier, to celebrate that, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway, $2,500 prize package. It's a lot harder to do the giveaways on here. So it'll actually be on my Instagram account. Like I said, I'll link into the description. Every Everything that you've seen used in this video today is linked in the description as well. Our Patreon community is growing right alongside this channel. So thank you guys so much for everything. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. So until next time, guys, I want you to push yourself a little bit further. Get out of your comfort zone because this is your growth zone, okay? Anything that you're not comfortable with, every time you learn, you're growing. So that's what I need you to do. See ya.